well, former governor's outstanding salaries and allowance or uh, pension war is ongoing between Abdulaziz Yari and former governor of Zamfara State. The new, uh, who's the former governor of Zamfara State, and the new governor, Belo Matawali. Now, they've taken it to a new level as Matawali has revealed that Yari paid himself 300 million naira severance pay before leaving office in May. I'm being joined in the studio by um, Obi Ajegwa, she's a legal practitioner, and Biodo Shomi, political analyst. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. I'm sure this is not news to us. We've heard this pension for life or salary for life that ex-governors have paid to themselves. I mean, I have a list of different states and governors who, I, I mean, I can start with Lagos states where um, they have kept aside 7.7 .7 million per annum for million per annum for governors as pension for life and some other states it might be higher so i'm i'm thinking to myself where in the law does this allow for governors to pass bills to the house of assembly because i'm, I'm sure that's the procedure it goes to the house of assembly and they accent to it and it becomes law. Does the constitution allow room for that? I will talk about the RMAFC. Yes. The RMAFC are the ones that have the right to, to state what everybody gets. And I'm surprised they are not doing this. But you see, once a state um, assembly mm -hmm. passes a law, it is deemed to be a law in effect. Okay. But until somebody else reviews it or somebody else tests it. Mm -hmm. So that's the situation here. Most in most states, most assemblies are, uh, are operating under the governor and they work hand in hand with the governor. So whatever it is the governor says they should put in, they should um, do is what they do. I want to quote. Um uh, a representative of RMF, RMAFC, uh, their spokesperson, Christian Nwachiku, he told uh, a, a reporter that while the commission fixes salaries and allowances for state governors, it doesn't have powers over their pension and exit benefits. So that's to answer your question. They have no hand in it. So I'm wondering, if they have no hand in it, then how come the Houses of Assemblies are the ones who somewhat seem to accent to this without the people who are the taxpayers knowing about it. it um, everything passes through the house and it goes through formation. First hearing, second hearing, the um, committee stage. And there's no room for people to speak there's up about this? Hearing, and we never hear about these public there's hearings. There's a public hearing, but you have to be interested before you can go and... Uh, so are you, are you insinuating that Nigerians are not interested in these public hearings and that's why... We are laid back. It never... It, oh, it, it slides past us. We are laid back. We don't know the powers of our... We don't know the citizen powers we have. We're just laid back. Too, too laid back. Interesting. Look, look, for instance, this hate bill. It's because of the outcry that they've removed the death penalty. It shows you the power of um, citizens, but we don't use it except if you, if we are pushed to the wall before we use those powers. I'd like to go into detail, Mr. Shomi. For Lagos, we'll start with Lagos State now. For Lagos, the public office holder, payment of pension law number eleven, official gazette of Lagos State, two thousand and seven, states that the former governors of the state are entitled to a house each in any location of their choice in Lagos and Abuja. Section 2 of the law states that one resident house each for the governor and the deputy governor at any location of their choice in Lagos state and one residential house in the federal capital territory for the governor and on two consecutive terms. It goes further to say that former governor Bola Tinubu was provided a residential house in Ikoyi and Asokoro in Abuja. The law provides six new cars for every three years, 100% of the basic salary of the serving governor, which is 7.7 .7 .7 naira per annum. And then, as well as free health care for himself and members of his family, I can go on. 
The law also says former governors will be entitled to furniture allowance, which is 300% of their annual basic salary, which is 23.3 million naira. I'm sure you're doing the math in your head. House maintenance allowance, which is 10% of basic salary, which is 778,296. Again, utility allowance, which is 20% of the basic salary, 1.5 million naira. And car maintenance allowance, which is 30% of the annual basic salary, which is 2.3 million. I'm not sure if your math is good. Hmm. And I'm thinking in my head, how many salaries that would have paid? Now, look at it this way. It's not just about the girls. It's also at the federal level. Nigeria is a whole big setup by the elite to scam the populace. How do you mean so, scam? Yeah. What I mean is you extract as much as you can you know, from public wealth to the detriment of the people. So it's not just about the states. The same thing applies to federal government. From our head of states, from our president, go and look at what they're entitled to. Then you begin to ask yourself, why are people putting up with this? Now, when you go backward and you try and look at why is it that the parliaments are not checking them, the simple answer is this. It's not simply because they are there by courtesy of the governor or, the God, um, or their godfather, but it's simply because when you look at the parliamentarian salaries too, you find everything you find in the governor's own in the furniture allowance, all manners of things, wardrobe allowance. That is exactly what they've also built up. So the question is, is like a pot calling a kettle black. There is no way how any parliament in Nigeria, whether federal or state level, can check or tell a governor that we will not pass the law because they are also enjoying the same thing. I want to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to examine where and how we, these laws came into being and how come we're just becoming aware of this. Maybe because we're becoming broke as a country, I'm thinking. But we'll be back after this break. Stay with us.